Hey guys, so what we're going to do today is look at a discussion topic uh, question. I get this a lot. I get a request for help on these a lot. What happens is uh, there's a disconnect somehow between your device and the, uh, and the internet. And so you click on the reply button after you've crafted your response but it doesn't it doesn't take for some reason for whatever reason uh, generally it's because there's a there's a disconnect in the internet just a brief uh, internet uh, connection loss but that's all it takes and because the web pages are stateless which means they don't have any memory they can't store things it's not going to store all your hard work and let you resubmit it again so uh, there's a way that you can avoid losing your work and having to retype everything so let me uh, let me demonstrate the proper way to do a, a discussion question. Okay, so here we are in Canvas. I'm looking at a discussion question. Basically, it says how to use Canvas to turn in a discussion. Complete the following discussion topic, answer in complete sentences, at least two paragraphs. And the topic is, what is the best way to answer a discussion topic question in Canvas? Hmm. Well, let me demonstrate to you the best way to do it. Now, like I said, it's not uncommon, especially if you're on a wireless device, for there to be a brief drop in, in internet connectivity. When that happens, your response, if you just click submit, is not going to go where it needs to go. Uh, it's not going to get turned in, and it's not going to get saved. And so what's gonna happen is you're gonna lose all your hard work, and that can be very frustrating, particularly if you've typed well, two paragraphs or four paragraphs or some really brilliant response to a, a question that uh, your grade is depending on. So let me show you how to deal with that. First thing you wanna do, don't start typing here. Don't do anything with the page. This page, just leave it alone. What you wanna do is open Notepad. Notepad is just a text editor, that's all it is. You wanna open Notepad, start a new document, and what you're going to do is you're going to type your response into Notepad. Here is my response. The best way to answer questions in Canvas. Let's say discussion questions. Is to do the work in Notepad or some other text editing program. And then paste the text into the response box of the question. If the internet glitches while you are submitting, submit easily okay technically that's two paragraphs I might have cheated a little bit but yeah it is what it is all right here's what you want to do rather than type in your response into the into the question you want to type it into notepad here's my response the best way to answer discussion questions in canvas is to do the work in notepad or some other text editing program and then paste the text into the response box of the question if the internet glitches while you're submitting, you won't lose all your hard work, and then it's easy to resubmit. So let's say, here I go, I'm going to copy my text, and I'm going to do Control c or you can also go Edit Copy. And then I'm going to paste it into the response box here. Paste. But oh no, I hit, sub I hit Reply to uh, turn in my work, but the internet glitched. And now everything's gone, and I hit reply, and there's nothing there. I don't know what to do. That's really annoying. So what I need to do then is I need to delete that. And I want to go back and redo it. So I'm going to hit reply again. And let's say I didn't notice this for a little while, so I've changed my... Uh, recopied something else, so I'm gonna I'm gonna reselect my text, which I still have. I did not close Notepad. 
I still have my response, so I'm going to copy. Cancel that. Copy. And I'm going to paste it in. And there's my work. And now when I hit reply, yay, my work is done. And it's in. Now, I'm looking at my response. I'm even going to hit refresh on the page. When I do that, my response is still there. Here's my response. So now that I have it, I know for a fact that it is in Canvas. I know for a fact that that has been turned in. I'm looking at it. Now I can, and if you might, I'm going to go ahead and close Notepad. You might even save this response just in case, in case uh, there's some question later on. But uh, I'm not going to save it because I know that my response is where it's supposed to be. I have correctly answered the question and I've done it in a way where if it glitched out on me, I don't lose all my work. So uh, this is the best way to deal with discussion questions. At this point, then you can go back and if you have to respond to some of your peers or whatever, this is the time to do that after you have replied. So that's the, that's the way you want to deal with these discussion questions. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. I'm going to create a series of videos uh, on common things that I'm seeing happen in Canvas, uh, just tutorials on how to turn in assignments, simple things, short videos that hopefully will be helpful. Uh, if you have any suggestions for videos or contents, go ahead and send me an email, white, R, W-H-I-T-E-R, at grayson.edu, and just put a heading on there, uh, video suggestion, and then you know, give me an outline of what you'd like to see as far as a tutorial video goes. This is geared specifically for students. Uh, if you, uh, you run into a, a question that you can't answer, also don't forget that I'm available at the Canvas Help Desk Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Uh, just hit the help icon and then report a problem link and that will come directly to me. So let me know if I can be of help and have a good semester.